Hey guys, this is me Rajat Jan. Welcome to your another video. Few students were interested in how they can improve their mathematical skills for computer programming and what are the some good resources they can use for that. In this video, I will be tackling this particular question. If you remember, a few months back, I went live with Saharsh, Adarsh and Vabhav from my college who are really great programmers and went to ICPC World Finals. Not only that, Saharsh and Adarsh both are really very very great at mathematics. They had been using Project Euler a lot to improve their mathematical skills. The overall feedback that I would like to give about Project Euler is, this is the one stop for all the math lovers where you can come, solve problems, learn concepts from very easy to very hard. This is probably the best mathematical programming website I have ever seen. So the link of the website can be found in the description and I will just quickly go through the overall experience and how this works. Once you sign into Project Eula, you can see the list of problems as you can yeah, as you can see and then you can also hover to see the uh, to see the difficulty level of that particular problem and how many people have solved it. So let me open one problem. So as you can see the problems are very short and they are mathematical and you simply have to write some algorithm or program to find out some answer to a particular problem that they are asking about. The questions particularly deal with combinatorix, dynamic programming and lots of lots of number theory like Diophantine equations, span digital numbers, Euler's torsion function, prime C, prime factorization, continued fractions and the list goes on and on. So you can have very easy problems also and very difficult problems also. In generally the starting problems are really very very easy so I would highly recommend you to solve at least the first 50 problems on Project Euler as fast as you can. If you solve maybe one or two problems every day within one month guys you will feel a lot of difference and improvement within yourselves. Even if you do not come from a strong mathematical background you will learn a lot and your mathematical skills and confidence in that particular field will highly rise. So that's one of the reasons why I love Project Euler because I know that uh, when I was starting when I was starting with programming code chef and code forces problems are really very very long and you know it deals with input and output formats like if you if you do not print the answer on new line you will get a wrong answer and the onboarding really becomes difficult for new people or new students. So that's what I like about Project Euler if you know a programming language like Python, C++ or any programming language if you know the basics of that you can easily get started and all it ne and all you have to do is just write the code find out the answer and just you know submit the answer. So once you submit the answer of course you have to uh, print uh, you also they also have a confirmation code otherwise you will just have a bot which will keep on submitting multiple answers but anyways uh, we are here to have fun and learn so we submit the answer after submitting the confirmation code as well and we check if the answer is right or not. If it's right you will get a tick mark otherwise you will get a wrong answer and then once you solve a particular problem then you also get access to the forum page of that particular problem. For example problem 31 the answer I have already you the answer for that is 73,682 and now since I have already solved it I can go to the thread and basically see what are the other solutions that people had and what are the other approaches which which we can use to solve this particular problem. So this is one great place where after solving the particular after solving some problem you can come here to have a glance about what are the other ways of solving that particular problem. Um, so this is how it works and as I have mentioned the first 50 problems are like um, I would say they are pretty easy and it will really give you the overall experience of Project Euler the onboarding will be very very quick. So please uh, go ahead and try that out. I hope you will like this, you will enjoy this and you will learn a lot. Not only that, uh, if you are not able to solve some particular problem, it's fine. What you can do, you can simply do a Google search. For example, if you are not able to solve problem 33, you can simply Google search and then there are multiple blogs. Uh, one of them is mathblog.dk and other one is Dreamshire. They are really two good blogs which um, cover in depth which have a lot of Project Euler solutions. They have the description, the analysis, the code, the answer, everything. So pretty neat blogs. Um, again, the links you can find in the video description. So if ever you feel like you are stuck at some particular problem, it's fine. You can try a little bit harder, but then ultimately you can view the solutions online on these blogs. Really great blogs. All right. Um, 
even in computer programming difficult problems like code forces level f problems are sometimes a subset of projectular problems for example as you can see others has commented this problem is also an easier version of this problem where um, this is a projectular problem the 501 problem is so hard that the code forces level f problem is a subset of it or it's really easy version of that and one of the reasons why i started with project euler was seeing how good others and sahars are at mathematics i feel project euler is great for beginners as well as intermediate and as well as experts because it has a variety of problems of various difficulty levels so i recommend you to solve at least one or two problems every day on project euler try it at least for one month and it will really get addictive plus you will learn a lot so in this video i just wanted to you know highlight what project euler is about and how you can use it to improve your mathematical skills few of the mathematical skills that you can enhance using project euler is number theory combina combinatorics dynamic programming diophantine equations euler's torsion function prime sieve prime factorization continued fractions and a lot of things so there are endless amount of things in mathematics guys i can't cover i can't list out each and every one of them but these were the some of the common math concepts that you can also find in computer programming so i thought that i should uh, i should just point that out here um again guys uh, just go to this website and start solving problems you are going to love it i hope this video was useful and there is one more website which i really find good when you when you are talking about mathematic concepts which is math.stackexchange.com so if you go to this website it's super active and they have a lot of great mathematicians um what you can do is if you are stuck with some question you can simply ask questions at this website and you they also have a tag feature wherein you can if you are interested in number theory you can simply click here and it will give all the questions based on that particular topic and then maybe you can read about some to uh, and then maybe you can read about some questions that might look interesting to you maybe answer some of them and have a look at the answers and learn a lot so so these are the two websites that come to my mind when you talk about mathematics and programming i hope these two resources will be super useful to you and it gets you started with your journey towards becoming good at mathematics um, so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and let me know in comments what do you think about this video and what are some of the topics that you want me to work at i will see you next time guys bye bye